Now, Channel 3 Early Warning Weather with Chief Meteorologist Bruce DePriest. All right, today we woke up to a pouring rain and the heaviest rain fell in eastern Connecticut, but the day sure ended on a bright note in a Mystics who sent in this photo where we ended the uh, day with a mainly clear sky. These were highs for today. The uh, warm air never made it into the Connecticut River Valley. Hartford had a high of 49 and Windsor Locks had a high of 46, but it made it up to 60 in New Haven and many parts of the state were in the 50s to near 60, all surrounding the Connecticut River Valley. Right now it's dark and it's turning colder. It's 43 in Hartford with a brisk northwesterly wind, 41 degrees in Waterbury where we have uh, just a few clouds in the sky, a very pretty scene in Waterbury right now. And you can see the skies mainly clear in New Haven where the current temperature is 47 degrees, but we're already in the 30s, upper 30s in the Litchfield Hills, places like Torrington and Salisbury in the 30s. And before you know it, other towns and locations in Connecticut will follow suit. And when you factor in the wind, we do have wind chills that are in the 30s right now. Although New Haven is holding out at 41, the current wind chill there, and Salisbury has a wind chill of 29. So those are the two extremes in the state now. So the front is offshore and the colder air is blowing in. You can see a couple of rain and snow showers coming in from off the Great Lakes right now. Future catch shows it will have a mainly clear sky. We'll say a clear to partly cloudy sky here in Connecticut throughout the night. And tomorrow, a mostly sunny day, but a brisk northwesterly wind is going to keep it on the chilly side. Highs only in the 40s tomorrow. We'll dip into the 20s tomorrow night, but a veil of clouds will move over the state in advance of some milder air. And there you have it. By Wednesday morning, there could be a couple of uh, snow showers in portions of Connecticut and western Massachusetts. Maybe in a couple of isolated towns, there could be a dusting of snow. Otherwise, it's not a concern to most of us. And throughout the day, Wednesday, mostly cloudy skies. Now, going into Thanksgiving Day, that's a different story. It looks like a warm front's going to hang up to our south. So what does that mean? From 6 o'clock in the morning all the way into the afternoon, periods of rain, drizzle, and areas of fog and kind of cool and damp as well. So Thanksgiving Day, not looking that uh, nice, but at least it's not rain or ice. Uh, that uh, can happen on Thanksgiving Day. We know that from past years. So lows tonight, 25 to 35, coolest weather from north to south, and your highs for tomorrow are going to be in the 40s. 42 in Torrington, Willimantic 44, around 43 in Waterbury, and a high of uh, 46 in Chester, New Haven, and New London. All right, here's your seven day forecast in a Wednesday. Uh, there is that chance for a uh, snow shower or a shower of mixed precipitation in the morning. Otherwise, mostly cloudy near 50. Thursday, Thanksgiving Day, periods of rain, a high near 50. And then Friday, check that out. Mostly sunny and mild highs near 60. We'll be in the 50s over the upcoming weekend. Other than a passing shower on Saturday, possible. Uh, we should have a mainly dry weekend. We could have another storm on Monday that could bring a chilly rain. And for the shoreline tomorrow, speaking of chilly, a high of 46 and breezy.